In this demo, I'm gonna modify the existing Azure AD app and .NET Core console app uh, to use Microsoft Graph to both create, update, and delete users within my organization. Now this assumes that I've already created the Azure AD app and .NET Core console app from the previous demos in this module, which I already have done. So the first step is to go to the Azure AD app and grant it a new permission. So I'm gonna to go to our app, our app registrations, I'm gonna find my Graph console app, and I'm gonna to go to the API permissions. So I wanna add in a new permission, it's a Microsoft Graph delegated permission, and this is the user.read write dot all and then I'll say add permissions and then I'm going to select the grant admin consent as I've done uh, previously now once that's done let's come back over to our code and I need to find the place where I'm requesting permissions so right here user dot read dot all we're going to update this to say user dot read write dot all so I can actually make changes to it now we can go modify our code so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the part where we're getting the authenticated client and get rid of all the other code from my previous demo. Now, one thing I'm going to need to do with this, and I'm also going to need to add a, ref a using statement. So I'm going to add using system dot threading dot tasks because we're going to have an asynchronous task. Now, the first step that we're going to do is we're going to create a user. So I'm going to add in this code to create a brand new user, and we need to have a function that we're going to have to define called create user async. When that runs, we're gonna wait for it to finish creating the user, and then it's gonna write out the new user's ID. So let's go add a method to go create that user. So I'm gonna scroll down, we'll add it right before, or right after the main, the main method. All right, so what is create user async doing? It's creating a new user object and specifying a little bit of information about them. Melissa Darrow, we can see her name, we can see her nickname, and a user profile name. Now, one of the things I need to do is I need to also update her um, domain, her organization domain, to be equal to the same domain that we're currently working with. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the one for the current user and just sign that in using my temporary uh, Microsoft 365 developer tenant account. So just to show that we don't already have this user already added, I'm going to come over here to the users collection uh, inside of Azure AD. And we're going to do a search for Melissa. And we don't have any Melissa's listed. So let's go back to our application. We'll open up the console and let's go do a, let's go ahead and execute the code. So we'll do that by doing a .NET build. And we need to get the entire user. So we'll go log in as the current user. We'll also grab the password. And we'll create the user. So it shows a new user was, has been created. So let's go back over to Azure AD to ensure that user was created. I'll refresh the page and we'll do another search for Melissa. And sure enough, now we see that Melissa has been created. So if I go ahead and open this up, you can see I can scroll through and I can see some information about the current user. So what I want you to notice with the new user we just created, um, take a look at the mobile, the mobile phone for Melissa. Notice that there's no mobile phone listed for Melissa Darrow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna update the code to set her, prof her mobile phone number. So I'm gonna come back over here to the code and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get a reference to the user that we just created. So let's get rid of the code to create a user. So now we're gonna update the user. So first, I wanna find the user that we just created. So that was Melissa Darrow. And again, we need to make sure we pass in her the correct uh, org or the domain for her. We're gonna get that user and then I'm gonna call a method called update user async and we're gonna wait for that to finish. So let's go add that method for updating the user async. And what we're doing is we're gonna take the, we're gonna create a new instance of that user, uh, user object and we're gonna pass in the mobile phone. Now, what we're doing here, we're, we're passing in the ID of the user we wanna update and then we're only passing in a user object that contains the properties that we want to change. So here we're only passing in the mobile phone property is the only property that I want to change. So now let's go ahead and run this. So I'll do a .NET build, .NET run. So I'll go ahead and log in. There we go, it should have updated the user. So let's go back over to Azure AD. 
This can take a second for the mobile phone to show up. So let's see how fast it happens. And now we see the mobile phone has been updated with the number that we specified. So it took a minute, but it did actually show up. And that's just a propagation thing. The last thing that we can do is we can delete the user. So in this section, we're gonna update the code to delete the user that we created in the previous section. So what I'm gonna do is come back over to the code and in the part where we are updating the user, we already have the user. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to pass in uh, the uh, code that we want to delete the user. So after the user, we updated them. So now come over here and we'll say we'll delete them. So here's the user to update. We're passing in their ID and we need a method here that we're gonna to define to delete the user. And I'll do that by passing in this delete method or pasting in this delete method. You can see here that in order to delete, all we're doing is we're calling the delete async method on the request object that's returned. And then we're gonna wait for that to complete. So again, let's test this out. I'll do a .NET build. I'll go ahead and log in. Wait for it to finish. And once it's finished, we'll come back over to um, Edge and let's refresh the page and try and find our user. And we can see now that the user is not found because they've been deleted. If I come back over here to the dashboard for all my users or go to the users page and do a search for Melissa, you can see she's showing up, but it's still taking a second for it to get to sync, but we can see that the user has actually been deleted. So it's just taking a second for Azure AD to update uh, the UX. So in this demo, you saw how we modified the existing Azure AD app and the .NET console app. Uh, and used Microsoft Graph to create, update, and delete users in the organization. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. Now remember that this video is part of a series of videos on this Microsoft Learning module. This video is also part of a playlist that includes all the videos that are associated with this module so that you can watch them in order. The playlist and all its included videos are associated with a Microsoft Learning module that includes hands-on lab exercises and additional resources. Check the notes for this video and the associated playlist for more information and where to find the Microsoft Learning module.